Okay, seal her in. Um, not much to see. Um, it just it just looked like a load of um, silver model paint, and the lid was really hard to get off. It shows it must be pretty toxic. Um, poured it in, sealed the top, but it's hard to get the paint back up around the um, the neck. So once I'd run it around a few times, I got a paintbrush and uh, painted around the inside of the neck for full coverage. Um, but when I bought it, I looked at the, the the capacity of the tank and bought a tin for this capacity. Um, it says drain out the excess, but there, there, is, there isn't a lot really. You know, when you run it around, there's um, you can see a little bit moving inside. I will take the bung out and um, and let it run out because if it's too thick, it may not dry. The issue I've got here now is it's, it's thinking about raining. It's whether I can get it to drain. And I don't know if it was a good move or not, but um, while well, I had the paintbrush, I know you saw how rusty it was underneath. I, I coated the under underside of the tank. Whether or not that will react with the paint I'll put on there later, time will tell. But um, nothing to lose at this stage, I don't think. But uh, I'll take the bung out and um, see how much comes out. Yeah, like I said, not much to see. But easy enough to do. But I did what I did buy, which I think was an investment for all this painting and spraying. I bought one of these masks. All the painting and crap I've done in the past, I've never worn a mask, so my lungs are probably buggered anyway, but um, you can pick all this stuff up on eBay. I think this, I can't remember if this was. I think it was about 15, 20 quid, something like that. But you can use it for loads of other stuff. Okay, bye.